It's Albani. It's $75. We can make our own chocolate company. Well, then we make our money back. <laughs> One at a time. Dude. Well, hello, it's Jeffrey with Real Nifty Vintage, and today I'm here at the pink, wait. Yeah. The pink, I was like, pink or purple? At the Pink Elephant Antique Mall, and we're gonna go inside here and see what we can find to buy and resell. Let's go. They're known for having all these giant things outside of their building. This was an old school, by the way. And they have like a little candy shop over here with fudge. Maybe we'll get some fudge. Some fudge. And Marilyn and Big Boy and a dinosaur. All right, first we're gonna get a little bite to eat at their cafe or diner, whatever it is. We've ate here before, but I don't know if we like their burgers or their chicken strips. So I'm not sure, maybe I'll get something else. Ooh, a soft pretzel with cheese. I'm gonna get that. Or maybe chili. Ooh, that sounds good too, and an ice cream. Oh my gosh, that's a lot of ice cream, a whole page full. That's my kind of place. All right, the chili was good, and the ice cream was good. And Barb, what'd you think of your french fries? They were that, good. That's all she got. <laughs> good, good, good. Look at her. She is welcoming everyone into the diner. That lady with her dress on. Okay, so now we're looking for some vintage things that we can resell. Hmm. All the figurines. <gasps> Look at this little guy. It's like a tea light holder. Okay. Right now we're technically up on the stage. You can see the curtain up there. This is an old gymnasium. What does it say? Oh, the Eagles? What's this, um, do you remember what this, this school was? There's an L on there. I don't know. Well, L is for Livingston, because that's- Ah, this is so the Livingston Eagles. Yeah. So this must've been the Livingston High School? Maybe. Maybe it was like all the way from the everybody. Yeah, could have been. It's pretty. They call that blue velvet. Blue velvet and then little flowers on a plate. That's pretty. Large. I don't know what that says. Beautiful. Oh. It's beautiful with okay. a dash in between bow right. and tiffle. Um. It looks like blue, blue mountain, ridge, blue, no, mountain blue, blue ridge, blue mountain, <laughs> blue. I don't know. I'm not sure. Blue something, yeah. but I don't believe it is. It's not marked that it is. Are they marked though? Now I'm forgetting. It's I don't been know. A while since Here's iris and herringbone. Wait, is it blue mountain? I don't remember. It's blue something. <laughs> Figurines, elephants. So. They've got lots of elephants here at this mall because it's the pink, the pink elephant. So they've got lots of elephants. Oh, Holy dear. mothers. <laughs> Holy mother. I ran over that. You shouldn't be out in the middle of the hallway. So you're going to have lots of elephants here. Oh, this is the blue onion. Well, the traditional name is Old Town Blue, but they, a lot of people call that blue onion just as, just as a thing that they call it. Well, maybe I'll find a really cool Art Nouveau vase here for myself. I don't know if that's gonna- It might be $500. It might be. <laughs> it has been that before. Look at this really pretty peach set. Oh, and every piece has a place. That's cute. I like. It's peach luster, made in Japan, lovely. And this is pretty as well. Oh look, even the inside has the pattern. Even the inside. Knowles. So that's Taylor Knowles and Taylor? Or maybe just Knowles. Maybe Taylor died. <laughs> well, Taylor Smith Taylor was Knowles involved too at one point. I don't know. What am I what is my brain thinking of? I thought there was Taylor Knowles Taylor. Maybe there was. As well. And then Smith took his place. Smith? Taylor Smith Taylor. Oh yeah, Taylor Smith Taylor. Well, I don't know how Knowles got involved. It's all perplexing. So Christmas is not now, but $10 is a great price for a glass tree. 
the glass trees are very popular. I'm feeling it up to make sure. I want to make sure all these little nubs are chip free. Well, I used all the fingers to nub, the, to, to nub. <laughs> <laughs> I used all these fingers to check it out and it feels good. So $10 it is, I will get the glass tree, put that on a light base, like a color changing base and that will be so good. Barb, do you ever have a spot on, like see this? I, I scratch this like every day, multiple times a day, and it started out not oh. a problem. And now it's this little, it's this hard, it's a callus. Oh. It wasn't that before though. It's Here. some sort, and it comes and goes. Like it'll be like, it's a problem. I don't know. It, it could be like a month or two that I'll be doing that and then it'll go away for like six months. Maybe it's a fungus. <laughs> right here? I don't know. <laughs> I think not. Is it not. dry skin? Some type of dry skin. How? There? <laughs> it might be some kind of eczema. Yeah, that's that's what I was trying to say when I said dry skin. But I just I just thought it was weird because it's only ever there and not. That is true. I don't know. You think you would want to I take a to vacation have like that and go somewhere else? I between my f fingers once in a while in the oh, winter. Oh, I bet that's called fungus. No, that was eczema. I bet you have. What's that called whenever it's on feet? Athlete. I bet you have athlete's hand <laughs> or finger. <laughs> I don't know. I've never had them in. Calvin, Simon. Theodore. <laughs> do, 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 do. Remember that song? Yeah. That's fun. Look at the bottom. I love it. Do you want to take up smoking just for that? <laughs> <laughs> Ew. The bug. Like the bug. That. <laughs> it's a bug holder. Well, it's funny. Is this is the one I always find? I always find these two. I have those two. Steak and shake, steak and shake, steak and shake. Insight, it must be right. And then White Castle, buy them by the sack. I have these bowls. Do you? <laughs> Kellogg's, 1995. I wonder if those came in boxes of cereal. Do you I recall? Think you, I think you probably. Oh, had you had to, to do send that. in. Yeah, I think so. You had to send in your. Um, your paperwork, your birth certificate and stuff. <laughs> and then they send you some bowls. Oh, look at that turkey. Hey, Mr. Turk. 20 or 35. And a chocolate mold. Ooh, we don't see chocolate molds. Well, the nuts. Okay. Oh, a bunny. It's a bunny. It's $75. We can make our own chocolate company. Well, then we make our money back. <laughs> One at a time. They'd be very expensive chocolate bunnies. We could sell them and then when we're done making our money back, then we could sell the mold. Exactly. <laughs> Look at this one. You can get three in one on that one. Oh, wow. I like that. But you have to, you have to, have to pay more. Yeah. The investment is a hundred and a quarter. Okay. But you can get three bunnies. Oh, that's heavy, Barb. Feel that. Oh, wow. Yes, exactly. I bet there's chocolate inside. <laughs> How do you open it? Um, so there's the hinge. there and then there's a hook. Oh, it's already open, right? Oh no, you gotta... I think... I don't want to break a finger. Right. I don't know about that one. That might not be making anymore. No, no. It's just for decoration. The shop is closed on that. That's cool. I don't get to see the chocolate molds very much because, well, the prices. Get all the opalescent glass. That pink one there, $48. And there's green, and there's like a bohemia glass over there with the green with the gold. Mm -mm. And a blue and white cased hobnail ruffle bowl. Wow. You touched me. I felt it too. <laughs> <laughs> I just bought myself a really pretty huge vase. And if you want to be like me, you could get this one. It's a $10 starter edition. Mm -hmm. So you can get your very own little miniature vase. And put your miniature flowers. For your miniature flowers. <laughs> I did. That was in a uh, that was in a recent video. I bought this beautiful cut glass crystal vase, and I'm so happy it's gonna go on the dining room table. Look at all these little cherished teddies, hundreds and thousands of them, and precious moments. These are mostly all Nesco figurines. They have a big old line of things they were doing. They couldn't stop, so they kept making things. Beanie baby bottle pop. Oh fish those fish are cute I had pinchers the lobster I also had a glow worm I had I had um what other ones did I have 
I'm sure I might have had a flamingo. Yeah, I don't see a lot of the main one. ones. Isn't this still at your shop? I do still have that one. I mean, I, I was thinking of the ones I had originally whenever oh. I was a young lad. A young lad of 10. Okay, so this is a monumental day. I'm going to buy an Italian spaghetti poodle dog. This right here. So the thicker noodles, or I mean, the, <laughs> the, the thicker, the thicker things here are Italian. So I will get this one for $7. It's a nice chunky poodle. It needs to be cleaned, I think. I'll clean it up. I'll get a little a toothbrush and clean its fur. Very cute. For $7. And then this is the Redware Japan version that we see a lot of times. And these are usually chained up together. They have like a chain with them. Wait, oh my goodness. This one's $2.50, the little guy. Oh. And the big one is 4 That's not bad either. You want to do it, Barb? Uh, you could do it. I'm, I'm allowing you the chance. Or this little one for two fifty. It's a little brown one. And the Japanese with the enameling. Okay. Mm. Well, hey, there's the TARDIS. The man on a cloud. Do we have any Doctor Who fans out there? Comment below. <gasps> Squirrel huggers. Here you are. Oh, I don't want to break them. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, they're not hugging candles. They are. They would have a tree. Darn tree. They're missing their tree. And they would hang on their like little tree. They made, I think, bear ones too. That, so like you have hanging bears. Yeah. Probably monkeys as well. Because monkeys are known for hanging. <gasps> oh my gosh, that's beautiful. Beautiful. 20 and 20, I should buy them both. They're sailboats made of crystal. From France. Hmm. What do you say, Barb? You say yes like to them. the dress? I think that's a good idea to do for me. Well, while you deal with them, I'm going to use the restroom. Ooh, I want to go. I'll find you. Well, look at that. I found some more poodles. Now, I have to look them over to make sure, but look at that white one right up front. That one is $10. I don't know if there's a chip on it. And then that one back there that's black with the stones in the eyes, that one's 15 And there's this pink one up here as well. I don't see the price on that one. Wait, yeah, wait, no. 12 Ooh. If that one's in good shape, I might get that one. See, there's just, like, lots of little areas where there could be a problem so i have to double check them so i'll look at the pink one the white one and the black one. Oh, there's another spaghetti poodle yeah barb you made it back from the bathroom <laughs> that's exciting oh there's one over there too i have to go soon oh 25 percent off smart look at the shamrock pigs those are left <laughs> in 24 for the for the series or for the set of them. I know it's such a good thing. This is really cool. It's gravel art. It's like the uh, the gravel art and it's of a peacock. And it is as is beads are missing, it says, for ten dollars, but it's large, see so shipping that is not really that great. I think it's about three feet. Three feet by about ten inches. So yeah, it needs a couple of these like jewels and Here, wait, what about so is that section all missing? Where? Like where it's not blue and green. Blue? Are these all missing or is that how, what color they're supposed to be? These are yellow oh, rocks in here. Oh, that color? Yeah, do you see the rocks? Okay. The rocks are yellow. Strange. Are your eyes that bad? It looks I like I mean, do you see rocks? rocks oh. Here, but but you you just thought that was like maybe they weren't supposed to have yellow rocks. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. I don't know. I just think it's missing a couple of these like rhinestones and then maybe some sequins and stuff. But yeah, that's fun. We're well, right now we're like in the downstairs area of the back. So this stuff, it, <laughs> sometimes we find something, but most of the stuff we find out in the, the main room. What is that? Is it a Hager dog or something like an 80s one? Yeah, yeah. for a shizzle for from 19 from from pennies. Penny. $37. It's only $15. What a deal. Should I get myself a dog? No, I should not. <laughs> <laughs> Answer that real quick. 
Well, I just found this really awesome poodle and I looked at the bottom and apparently it's a radio and it's $10 because that booth is 50% uh, off anything over, anything over $2. So it was 20, now it's 10. And then I found this pair of pillowcases and they're gonna be $3. And I think they're really sweet too. So I'm finding a couple like little doodads in here. This this booth is all regular price though. Um, but yeah, I like. I've never seen that before. Barb said that she had one when she was young. Yeah, I don't know. I think it was maybe came from my grandma's house or something. But it's adorable. Yeah, I like that. It's I like the pose and everything. Don't know if it works, but it has the the tuning and the volume on there still. <laughs> neat. Very neat. Hopefully it works. I really do hope it works. You can't just turn it on and see. Well, if it has no batteries. Well, yeah. You gotta have batteries, dog. <laughs> All right, so we did pretty damn good. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we did pretty good here. I found some interesting stuff and Barb found nothing like usual. I looked at some interesting yeah. stuff. Um, I, I got stuff this morning I picked up from an online auction. Well, you did, and we could talk a little bit about that. So she, you, you, um, what is it called? You participate? No, you bid. She bid in this auction, and well, why don't you just say it? Well, I do it. I do it fairly often, but I, it's hard for me. Like they always end in the evening, and I can't always watch the bids at the end. So then, I end up winning like one or two things, whereas I could have gone after some other things to make it more worth going there to pick up. But yeah. So she ended up with a couple carnival, uh, carn a couple carnival, carnival glass bowls. Yes. Is that it? No, there was, there's oh. an old mid-century radio, but it's, well. <laughs> <laughs> she told me it's missing like a front piece. like Yeah, a... and I didn't realize that in the picture, so that's part of the other, I don't go to the preview, so. And you got to drive to go pick it up, and then it's like, and you ended up paying kind of more than, not more than you needed to, but like, it's definitely not like a deal deal. Right. right. Like, you could have probably found those prices at an antique mall. I don't know. I mean, were, were they like twenty dollars each or no, $10, no, ten dollars yeah. each? Well, yeah, depends on the the maker and the the design of the bowl, but yeah, you got about fifty percent off, I would say, at, than what you could maybe find it for at around here. Um, so we'll wrap it up. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye bye.